What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and listen to Norwegian King Harold speech. Norway is one. What a, I mean, that's a pretty beautiful name for a speech. Uh, most speeches don't actually get names. I don't know if that's the official name, but uh, just from that, I already can get a little sense of what this speech is about. Uh, also, thanks to all the people out there who recommended that I listen to this speech. Uh, I think that's a great idea, and I'm really fascinated in what it's about, and it's obviously been very moving and touching and hit home for a lot of Norwegians. And, uh, you know, I actually <laughs> uh, reacted to the Norwegian royal family earlier, and so I saw King Harold, and I actually really like him. I think he's a great guy. I haven't, I don't know him very well, but I got to see how he lives and some of the hobbies he does. They, he doesn't live a super extravagant, rich lifestyle. He's down to earth. He's a man of the people, even though he's a, a king, royalty. So I really like him, but I've never had an opportunity to listen to him talk. I actually didn't realize that the king made any sort of speeches as far as politics or to the people. I'm not sure quite how that works, what the king's relationship is to Norwegian government. But that's not, <laughs> that's not exactly the point of this video. The point of this video is to hear this probably beautiful speech by the king of Norway. So let's go. Norge er høye fjell og dype fjorder. Det er vidder og skjærgård, øyer og holder. Det er frodige åkre og myke heier. Wow. For one thing, this video is beautifully edited. So this isn't just a recording of his speech, which I think was several years ago at this point. Um, this is like an edited video where I think they're actually going to put in a couple of individuals who are going to give their commentary on it as well. And I apologize, but I'm going to probably pause during his speech just to give my own thoughts on what he's saying, because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Well, that's funny already, because uh, this individual is saying the king had a lot to say to the people of Norway about pulling together and being more unified and being more open-minded. Is that a problem in Norway? From my perspective, from everything I've seen, Norway is such a great, wonderful place, and it seems like the people are, for the most part, pretty unified, pretty on board, uh, progressive, you know? Um, so is that actually, was this speech very relevant at the time, very important? Did the people of Norway need this speech to, to pull together, to unify? Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in that, in the context that this speech was made. In 2016, the King of Norway held a speech on equality in Norway. Equality. Is equality a big issue in Norway? Um, I would have thought Norway is doing pretty good in that regard. Hmm. The speech went on to make headlines across the world. Well, I'm not sure when this speech was. Maybe I can look. In 2016, oh wow, so four, six years ago, um, I have no doubt that, th that this made headlines six years ago, but I, I actually am not aware of this speech until now. Wow. Norge er midnatt sol og mørketid. Det er både harde og milde vintre. Det er både varme og kalde somre. 
he uh, he's really going out of his way to describe Norway. Is that because he wants to exaggerate what a connection he and everyone has to Norway? Or is he going to draw some kind of comparison to all these attributes about Norway? He chose to draw a picture, a picture of the future and how he wanted to be. Hmm. Above all, Norway is people, is humans. I like that. I definitely like that. I think that's absolutely true. And he is emphasizing that very important truth that Norway is only as good as its people, the people who live there. And that's the huge reason why it's so important to have unity and respect for one, one another. Han snakkar ju om du har ett mångfald från naturens sida och därför så är det ju rätt om vi har ett mångfald hos oss människor eller. Norrmän är norrlänningar, trönder, sörlänningar och folk från alla andra regioner. Åh. Norrmän är också invandrare från Afghanistan, Pakistan och Polen, Sverige, Somalia och Syria. Åh, oh, åh, oh, okay. So he really is going out of his way to say Norway is very diverse um, within Norway and a lot of people who immigrated to Norway from other countries, but that's the reality. That's the people of Norway. It's this huge diverse population and uh, that's how nature is, but it also is beautiful and something that can make you even stronger if everyone can uh, work together and uh, have respect for one another. I think that's what he's getting at, right? Mine beste foreldre innvandret fra Danmark og England for 110 år siden. Ja. Yeah. Han viste jo, si, sa jo det selv, at han er ikke sånn etnisk norsk sett, men likevel er i Kongo her. Det betyr liksom, vi er unike. Wow, er unike, if I said that correctly. Yeah, that's a fantastic point. And he's not afraid to say it. He's not afraid to say it. I... My parents or grandparents, we immigrated here from England and uh, Denmark. I forget where it was, but that's not what's important. Uh, his family immigrated here and look, he's royalty. He's the king of Norway. If that's not representative of everybody, then I don't know what it is. Everyone can relate to that. It's not always so easy to see where we are from. What we call home is where our heart is. Og det kan ikke alltid plasseres innenfor landegrenser. Mm. Han snakket jo om et enormt og veldig betent for mange tematikk. Alle synes faktisk ikke det er greit med innvandring til Norge. Ah. Alle synes ikke det er greit at skjeve skal ha samme rettighetene som heterofile. Åh. Oh. Wow, ok. I thought most of Norway was pretty progressive in that sense. Uh, that it was pretty, pretty widely accepted that uh, gay and lesbian rights were pretty far progressed in Norway. Um, but I can't say for sure. I don't live there. I don't know. So this is very interesting. We're living in a time is polarization, social inequality, and because of that, we fear whatever we don't know. You know, after the attack in Norway in 2011, of course, we're mad. People died. Hold on. Attack in Norway, 2011. What happened? 2011. Norway. Attacks. My God. Oh, two domestic terrorist attacks by neo-Nazis. Jeez. 77 people were killed. An explosion in Oslo. My God. A car bomb explosion in Oslo. The bomb was in a van. The explosion killed eight people and injured 209. Second ex attack occurred less than two hours later at a summer camp on the island of Utoya. Uh, okay. Brevik, Brevik, dressed in a homemade police uniform, snuck onto the island. Oh my God. Wow, that's horrible. Okay. 
Okay. Attack in Norway in 2011. Of course, we're mad. People died. But that anger was not going to bring those people back. Mm. Our response should always be more openness, more democracy. Mm. Who is this individual? I think it's the mayor of Oslo. Or I missed her title at the beginning. She's very good at English and a very good speaker too. Like the king. More openness, more democracy. Also, we always debated about the Norse culture, but what is it? It's all us, the sum of all us. It's that that is the Norse. Right, right. There's people who are going to say, oh, Norway has its own history that goes back a thousand years. Norway is Norway. That's what a Norwegian is. But in the modern day, if Norway is filled with all sorts of immigrants from all over the world, then that's, that's what Norway is now. And that's, the, that's a fact. And uh, it's a beautiful thing, too. So... In any other countries, they have a military parade to show off their guns or whatever. We celebrate our day with children in the parade mm. and the king standing there waving, welcoming the future, you know? Yeah. Is this a an annual parade with all the children? Is this like a an annual holiday or event or a special parade? It's very cool to involve the children, by the way. Very cool, because as she said, they very much are the future of Norway. That is a fact. Norway is young and gamble, high and low. Norway likes football and handball, clatter in the mountains, while others are more glad in the sofa. Norway is an engaged young and life-serving gamble. Norway is men who are glad in men, men who are glad in men. Og jenter og gutter som er glad i hverandre. Mm -hmm. Nordmenn tror på Gud, Allah, alt og ingenting. Okay, so he's really touching on everything. Norway is diverse in every aspect imaginable. Because people are people. People are different. They have all sorts of worldviews. And we live in a time and a day where people can travel anywhere on the earth. And a lot of them choose to travel to Norway because it's an amazing place. Uh, but that also comes with being tolerant of all of these new and diverse ideas and ways of life. So yeah, I really, really love his message here. It's great. When you feel outside, you will not contribute to your uh, society. Mm. Equality is what made Norway what we are today. Yeah. Att kunna själv uttrycka den positivismen runt mångfald och inkludering och nästrallet. Jag väljer ju att ta det som som ett tecken på att uh, det här ska. Yeah, I imagine when a lot of people in Norway heard this speech, it was a great sign, a big sigh, a big relief, a weight of saying, "Hey, he's acknowledging this. This speech is for me." And I'm important in Norway, and everyone is, and we are our people, like he's saying. Mm. When we are singing, yes, we love this country. Is that uh Is that uh what's the Norwegian national anthem? Does it have this line in it? Yes, we love this country? Or is that in a different song or I'm not sure what he's referring to here, but obviously it's a Norwegian song where you sing these words, right? Yeah. For det er vi som utgjør landet. Ja. Mitt største håp for Norge er at vi skal klare å ta vare på hverandre. I'm sorry, look at this girl breakdancing. Mitt største håp for Norge. <laughs> this little girl's just uh, slang on the cardboard floor, breakdancing. I couldn't ignore it. <laughs> it's pretty good. 
er at vi skal klare å ta vare på hverandre. Ja. At vi skal kjenne at vi, på tross av all vår ulikhet, er ett folk. At Norge er ett. That Norway is one. Norway is one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was by Visit Norway, probably like a Norwegian channel. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. You know, that was a beautiful speech, and I did expect it to be beautiful. I wasn't exactly sure what the subject matter was going to be. Based on the title, Norway is one, and he did end up saying that. That is essentially what the entire speech was about in one sentence. About how Norway, for one, Norway is its people. And its people come from a diverse background, a diverse set of backgrounds. And he's basically saying, acknowledge it, uh, celebrate it. Um, it's what makes us us in Norway, from my point of view, has been such an outrageously successful culture and economy and country compared to the rest of the world. So much success and, and beauty that uh, I imagine he's absolutely correct. And that's one of the major reasons why Norway has had so much success. But I also ask why he made this speech in 2016. 2016? Yes, 2016. Was this uh, topic very important in 2016? Was something happening culturally that made this very relevant? Where he felt like he needed to tell the people of Norway, remind them about the importance of diversity? Or was just this just a really nice, wonderful speech that is timeless? It could have been told at any time. I, I'm uh, curious about that, about what the what it was like when this speech was given in Norway and how most Norwegians interpreted it. I imagine it was met with huge positive critical acclaim by Norway and the rest of the world. I think they said at the beginning that it was it made headlines around the world. And I can see why. It's it's a fantastic speech and a fantastic message. So, I am very happy that I saw this. This was definitely worth watching. I'm glad this was recommended to me. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, places, things that I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.